Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods for Slither.io. A lot of people seem to have problems when installing mods or either have questions. So this is a quick and easy simple tutorial on how to install mods for Slither.io. So the first thing you're going to need is Chrome, but you don't necessarily need Chrome in order to install mods, but Chrome is the easiest way to do so. If you are using another web browser, I will have another video soon showing you how to install mods on other web browsers besides Google Chrome. So the first thing you're going to want uh, to have is Google Chrome. So you'll want to download that and install it to your computer. Once you do that, you're going to open it up. Once your Google web browser opens, you want to type Google Chrome store in the search box and then hit enter. Uh, a link should pop up underneath that takes you to the store. It might show up at top at the top. Sometimes it's weird as you, as you can see there it should be the top one though. Um, but anyway, it should pop up uh, like this and you click it and you'll get a browser like this. So uh, the only thing you will need to do now that you're in the Google Chrome store, all you need to do is type in slither.io in the search bar located in the top left in the little search little bar right there as you can see it and I'll type Slither X and then hit enter. Slither.io, excuse me. Okay, once you do that, as you can see, you can get you get a bunch of different mods here. So the only thing you need to do is click here on the side. where it says add to Chrome. And then um, after that, you just add to Chrome. For me, I've already added a Pacific mod, so I don't need to do this anymore. Uh, but once you add to Chrome, the only thing you will need to do is then go to slither.o's website and it should be working. So let's go head over there and see what it looks like once you've installed a mod. So as you can see, I have a lot of options here. I can choose what server I want. I could choose a background. There's lots of customizations I can do. And this is what a slither.io mod looks like. And it's pretty simple as you can see here. Um, doesn't take any rocket science to do. And um, once you install a mod, you can play with your friends on whatever server they're on. And it doesn't matter uh, what mod they're using as long as you're able to find the server that they're on you will be able to join them. It doesn't even matter what web browser you're using. As long as you have that server number, you can join their server. Well, okay, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Also, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like these. Until next time, this has been K7. Peace. See you guys next time. Later.